One of the biggest things also with mental health that uh, I needed to stop being is when it comes to normal life, normal life, like being alive, uh, dressing up, uh, housekeeping, I am the most carefree person. But when it comes to my art, I pay so much attention to details are crazy. And sometimes that can cripple me. So, you know, yeah, I'm just learning how to do that whole balance thing as well. So with this one, I was just like, you know what? It's good enough. And I played it for my wife. I was like, yo, remember that thing I used to do? This is going to be my comeback thing. I played it. She's like, she liked it. I, was, I don't know if she actually does, even up to now. I just feel like she's being supportive. That's what, I, that's what I feel like she's doing. <laughs> anyway, um, but she, she listens to me on my Spotify though. So I feel like that's, that's, that's a bless. That's a bless right now. And I could, I could use all this, all this streaming I could get. So jump on your streaming platform and please stream my music. Please. G-E-N-I-R-O-L. Please, please, please. Anyway, so yeah. So um, then I sat on it for a while. Thinking of what to do for a music video as well. So April comes about and uh, I was just thinking of just doing something fun, something romantic. You know, it's just, just getting away for a bit as well. So I googled uh, a place not too far from where we stay. It's a, it's a little dam. Uh, and uh, I, I, I put the GPS directions in as well. And, you know, I prepared the picnic, everything. Like, okay, we're going to have a picnic. And... It was crazy. It was crazy. So the Google directions I got were the shortest way to get there. But also, they did not account for the fact that it just rained. So and it was a like a really uh, dirt road that had a lot of water paddles. And every time we walk, we would drive through water. It'd be like, shh, shh, shh. unlike in the video, my wife was not <laughs> was not like. Uh, blindfolded as well so I was kind of figuring out where we're going with with the GPS and also um, while she was watching as well so she could tell I'm nervous and everything but she was also like excited to see where we're going and everything because it was a surprise but you know she was could see I'm getting surprised in the process as well so yeah every time we passed through a paddle it was like Shh. then we came through we came through one of the big so okay here's the thing i'll take it back so we start passing through we start getting into the dirt road we start going through one paddle then next it becomes like a big pile of water and i'm like i'm not sure if the car's gonna get stuck here because we don't have like a four by four and i look at her and i was like yo i'm gonna go into this it's like patrick you're gonna wash this car i'm like washing the car is the least of my problems right now because we might not make it through. And she was only concerned about us washing the car after this. I'm like, okay, cool, 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 cool. So we drive through, we will then reach a really big puddle. And I'm just like, you know what? I don't want to risk us getting stuck. And I ask her, that's how crazy it went. Should we turn back? And she's like, you know what? We've already gone halfway. We've already gone halfway. Let's just go the full way. So yeah, we go, we go full way. And um, yeah, we, I'm, I try circling around and finding different spots. I ended up uh, finding that spot, which we see in the video as well. But at that time, at that time, that place where they put in the put the picnic, the blankets and everything was all wet because it just rained and the dam was full. So what we did was we had to fold the chairs at the back of the car and 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 just have the picnic in the car with the with the car reversed facing facing the, the damn water as well it was pretty dope like even then it wasn't really hitting me like yo i can do the video here it wasn't hitting me i was like no nah, it didn't hit me until you know reminiscing about it and thinking through i was like yo i think i think this is the spot you know yeah so that's the story about how we got to the video thing so here's the video story how we did the video please like and subscribe if you're enjoying the story and <laughs>
Yo, so how we did the video? So um now thinking through uh I okay so I own a camera, the one I'm shooting with as well. Once in a while we shoot some corporate stuff, some little corporate commercials, some small content for social media and stuff. So yeah, that's that's the one I, I thought, okay, let me use, let me shoot this myself. I've always wanted to be a director, a storyteller. I started writing some of the, the scripting of how it's gonna go, did a whole little short list and stuff. And because I didn't have a lot of camera gear uh, to work with, and having and and didn't have a lot of light to work with, I just in my research I thought maybe the best time would be when the sun set in the golden hour moment. So I was like, okay, let's go get the golden hour moment. Um, so all that done, set, done. I needed actors to jump in. So a beautiful couple that will like really nail this in as well and man i'm just brushing through all my beautiful couple friends and when i got to v i saw valerie's number so i was, I was just like you yeah, man like i i do have friends but a lot of them i called were not available had a time clash and stuff so by the time I got to V, uh, Val, Val, Val's name came up and I was like, yo, I think Val can do it. Val's willing to do it, but I'm not sure if Philip can do it, the husband. So I was like, man, I needed a married couple because instead of actors. I needed a married couple instead of actors because I wanted her to look real and I didn't want to do a lot of coaching practice as well. So uh, I wasn't sure if Philip was going to do it though. I, I wasn't sure if he was gonna win it. So yeah, when we, so I I spoke to them and he was keen, he was down for it, and I spent like fifteen minutes coaching him over the phone and trying to get him to get it right. Like yo, you're gonna be driving this. It's gonna be you. Like did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, just to get to the day and just press play and have him be so natural. Like I I rarely screamed cut. I really scream cut during the take. Just a few moments. And most of the cuts were for Val. Which is the funniest thing as well. Because I didn't think Val would pull it off, which she did. She, I didn't think I didn't think I thought Val was gonna be do better than Philip. But Val didn't I didn't anyway, yeah. So they were they, were, they did amazing and most of the stuff they did was just natural. All I had to do was just press play. And do what I do, and and it was cool. Uh, so yeah, we had a couple of uh, uh, we had a couple of hiccups. First of all, uh, what comprises of a nice golden hour is also a good sunset. So one thing is the dust particles from the earth have to lift up to the sky and meet the sun, and that gives you a beautiful color because it had been raining. I think a few days before we didn't have a lot of dust particles in the air and also we had a cloud cover that brought that golden hour a bit early as well so one of the biggest things we struggled with our light we had to figure out how to still shoot my shots after we shot their shots with with, with good lighting and we had a little bit of a grain thing going on there yeah, so yeah, we, we shot on we shot on log, which is a, a a very open color profile that allows you to manipulate the color after you shoot, which is very which is very good as well. So yeah, the biggest thing the biggest error I, we did with that is we didn't shoot handheld, uh, or we shot handheld instead of um, putting things on a tripod. A tripod would have worked better for us because a tripod would have helped stabilize the shots a lot more and give it that cinematic look as well as much so there wasn't much of a sunset to stare at in the video and that really bothered me a bit but you know at the end of the day it really came out nice beautiful and solid you know so i enjoyed it uh it was a really good time you know and valen 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 philip did well my assistant Tiamo, who I jumped in along with, do a lot of work with him as well. We we work together uh, in market service, which is the business I do. 
and yeah, it's good times, good vibes, you know. Yeah, so I'm I'm really happy with the response. I was expecting two hundred views in a month. I think I got that in two day. Wait, I got that in a day, you know. Yeah, so yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. Pretty excited about uh, making music as well. I got another song coming up. Gonna be talking about that a lot more as well. The music video to that, we're working on the script right now. Uh, it's gonna be more, much more ambitious than this one as well. So yeah, I'd like you to stay tuned. And the only thing I want you to do is just comment if you have questions. If you wanna do a live Q&A as well, we're just talking about more details within the video and making the video and everything. Yeah, let's do that. Cheers.